Hello there, kia ora. This is going to be a little bit different today, but we'll start off with the basics. Last night, the High Court's decision on whether or not Karen Chow would have to be sitting in front of the Waitangi Tribunal tomorrow was handed down, and they've said, no, she doesn't have to go. There was a couple of really interesting responses to this, like the fact that David Seymour responded with his usual grace and humility. There's also the fact that in the decision that the High Court handed down, they pointed out that this is something that Karen did to herself by refusing to answer written questions as well as going and dealing with verbal questions. So she really has made her bed and now she's got to line it. Now, the right like to tell people when it comes to things like wearing gang patches, for example, that if you don't do anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. But, well, she seems to have something to worry about and seems to think she hasn't done anything wrong. Very strange. Very, very strange. The next steps are actually pretty simple. Those people that bought this court case to the High Court can go for an appeal if they want to, or they could just let it rest and the Waitangi Tribunal can make its decision based on the information that it's already got. I'm not sure exactly which way they're going to go because the very next day, the Thursday, is a public holiday, so we have no idea what's going to go on. That's pretty much the end of my part of this video. You may remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, I sat down with Blake Forbes Gentle when I did a live stream. He's got some very strong thoughts about what's going on with Oranga Tamariki, and he's been helping me out a bit over the last few weeks with things. So I'm going to pass it over to Blake to show you his thought process on what's going on here. Hey guys, just wanted to add to the conversation about the Waitangi Tribunal decision to not subpoena the minister or have her answer questions around the Oranga Tamariki case. On this occasion, I don't think politics should be brought into it. Now, some commentators on the right say that this is a great decision and the Waitangi Tribunal should not be involved. However, I believe that just like any other citizen of New Zealand or any other country, that they should have to face court sanctions of any sort, just like the rest of us taxpayers. So in this case, it shouldn't matter whether you are a right supporter or a left supporter, the, the ministers, in my opinion, still need to be held accountable inside and outside Parliament. Yes, they should be asked questions in Parliament, but they should also be, uh, be able to be asked questions in Parliament as well as court and those sorts of things. But a lot of right-wing commentators or right commentators don't agree. So it's very divided. But for me, all the politics should be taken out of it. And we need to make sure, make sure our ministers are held accountable no matter if it's court or parliament or any other legal justice part of the system, in my view. So in my view, and this is not because of who I support, I reckon the court has made a wrong decision here. And I would be saying the same if it was somebody from the Green Party, Labour Party, National Party, Maori Party, etc., they all need to be held accountable for our country to succeed. So I reckon the wrong decision has been made here, not based on what party I support or don't support, though. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think.